Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and run you guys down what I've been playing currently. Uh, I still have some other videos to update some older characters that we've been playing. But today I wanted to try out um, my take on a life-based Righteous Fire character. And then after this character I'll most likely make a low-life Righteous Fire character. But anyway, we chose Berserker for this path. Um, instead of Chieftain, which I think is a common one. Purpose for Berserker is you get super healing from Warbringer, which is really nice. Uh, helps out really well with sustain. You also would get a ton of attack speed, which is great for clear speed. Um, and then you would get Aspect of Carnage, which is 40% more damage. Um, and then the last one is Rite of Ruin, and Rite of Ruin will counteract Aspect of Carnage a little bit when you're mapping, but for bosses you have to be careful of this extra 10% uh, increased damage taken, specifically spell damage, because we can mitigate physical pretty well with Endurance Charges and Enduring Cry, so that's pretty much your main thing. Um, the Pantheon does help quite a bit. Pantheon pretty much buffed Life RF by quite a bit, uh, and we can talk about that in future videos because we don't have it currently. Anyway, just to run down my gear for you guys right now, I'm level 47, I started RF at level 21, I've got a little thing posted on the screen for you guys. There are so many different uniques you can use, I'm just going to go over what I'm using currently. Bright Beat gives good shield charge speed, so that's why we're using that. Two Pyre Rings because you get a ton of burn damage, so 68% burn damage here, 72% uh, burn damage here. They also give good resist, so that's nice. Belly of the Beast because we just hit 46, Belly of the Beast is a ton of life. Alternatively, use whatever you want, uh, ideally probably Combs Heart. Helmet just has life. Uh, amulet is Shaper Seed, will be swapped with a Marble Amulet later, it's just because it gives a good amount of regen. Spring Leaf gives 3% life regen, my gloves are shit, Belt of the Deceiver amplifies the damage targets take by 10%, and simple Wanderlust. And our links are very simple, Righteous Fire, Burn Damage, Ink AoE, Ellie Focus, for a boss, swap and Conk Effect, you're done. If you want to use RF at a really low level, it's very simple, all you have to do is you just juggle a Life Flask, so if I were to drop my Stone Golem, for example, you can see if I hit a Life Flask, it'll pretty much stay on, right? So all you have to do is use a Reduced Charges, use Life Flask, and it just pretty much stays on, and pretty much everything everything, everything dies instantly, so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, also, once you do Normal Lab, remember that you do have a 2 second cooldown, 25% of your maximum life heal, so you can actually like literally not even use potions, and you'll be just fine. And an example of that is I'm going to remove everything here, and we're going to go see if we can kill the Act Boss Katava without any flasks. So let's go fight him. Uh, so he would be located right over there. Let's go fight him. For our aura setup, I'm currently running Vitality. Um, doesn't really make that much of a difference low level to be completely honest purity of fire is the same thing like they're really good it's just that low level it doesn't make that much of a difference simply because it's just the values are so small so we're actually running without purity of fire right now i decided to drop purity of fire because it's only plus one max res for now and instead just run blasphemy flammability because i don't really have any need for it so as a reminder this is a 45 zone and i am 47 um so we are a tad bit over leveled, but I'd say that's uh, about normal these days for hardcore. As for our passive tree, it's uh, pretty easy to look at. Basically, you're going to start off Marauder. You're going to go ahead and clip in and grab your Heart of the Warrior. I personally leveled up with Ground Slam until Sunder and then went RF pretty much immediately at 20. Um, so if you are having issues, you can grab, like, Born to Fight and rush right to Art of the Gladiator. You do want to go to Duelist pretty fast, and the main reason for going to Duelist is because you would get, for example, Life Regen here 1%, and Life Regen at Golem's Blood, which is 1.6, and this sets you up to going to Scion with my, with my current pathing, which gets you to Shaper, Sanctity, uh, Arsonist, and then you can grab, like, Barbarism and a bunch of other stuff later. And as of course, this build layout can be done with pretty much whatever you want. If you decide that you don't want to play Berserker, you can play Chieftain. If you don't want to play Chieftain, you can play Juggernaut. Honestly, like all three of the Marauder classes work out very well. Um, they work out very well for Righteous Fire. 
I think Berserker personally fits my playstyle better, and that's why I decided to go with it. So we're just going to swap in Conk for Ink AoE. And we're just going to use our Warcry to top us off here. And we've got Fortify. Let's just charge through this. All right. Okay, so he's in next phase. We're just going to give him a nice little Vol Lightning Trap as well. Okay, he's in the next phase. Oh, here we go. Here's the heart. Alright, heart's dead. Next phase. Okay, and we should have one more phase, maybe two more with this fight, I forgot. Alright, and that's the Katava fight. So, leveling as RF, in my opinion, is super easy, super good to go. Um, I know people were having issues with it before. I can assure you that playing Life RF is much, much easier to get started than Low Life RF. Um, obviously, Low Life RF just has a lot of requirements, being low life and whatnot, whereas Life just has an easier time leveling and whatnot. Pretty much everything is easier. Um, and we'll see, depending on how far I decide to scale the characters, um, I may be able to do a comparison later on, maybe on like Guardians, depending on how high we get. But that's pretty much going to be it for now. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, for anyone who's curious, I helped Oak for my Bandit reward. Um, the 2% physical mitigation should help cancel out Aspect of Carnage a little bit for physical damage. And then we get 1% life regen. So that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed the beta. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.